They call it the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i. Now this is a i9-13905 with an RTX 4050 and 32 gigs of RAM. Now keep in mind that the RAM is soldered to the motherboard. However, you do have an upgradable storage M.2 drive. So keep in mind that if you want to upgrade the storage that is possible on this laptop, but there is no RAM upgrade. Now the screen on this laptop is solid. You have a 16 inch panel and it is bright and color accurate. You have a screen brightness of 638 nits at a 100% sRGB, 90% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0.79. Now you do have a 75 watt hour battery, and that battery does not give you the greatest battery life. Now I run most of my tests at 20% screen brightness, which was still quite a bit brighter than some of the other screens I test which usually only have a max screen brightness of around 400. Now that gave us a seven hour productivity battery life, a six hour and 21 minute streaming video playback battery life, and then about four hours of Photoshop, and about three hours of video editing. So this is not the most battery efficient laptop, but it is still pretty good for the performance and the bright screen that it comes with. Now, as you can see, the trackpad is massive. It has a pretty good standard click to the trackpad. It's not really muffled. It's more of a standard click that you would expect from a laptop. Now the keyboard resembles the Legion keyboards. This is a slim pro laptop, but it has this numpad on the right side. You have your arrow keys, you have your full size shift key. And of course you can shift through your fan modes by clicking function Q, just like you can with the Legion series laptops. So that's definitely a big benefit to this laptop is having the larger trackpad compared to the Legion's having the smaller ones. Save an extra 6% off your purchase by going to Lenovo.com right now and using the discount code BENGEXTRA6. That's a custom discount code only for my channel and it ends at the end of September. So you better make your purchase quick because that discount code does have a time restraint on it. They've set up that code for the channel only through the end of September. Ben G extra six to save you a little extra money on your purchase of either a Lenovo Legion or Lenovo lock laptop. Now let's go ahead and take a quick listen to me using the keyboard and the trackpad so you can hear what that sounds like. Also, if you want to know what the speakers sound like, here's a quick audio sample of the speakers as well. And of course, there's a webcam along the top bezel, and here's a quick sample of that as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now the Slim Pro 9i is an all aluminum build. It is slim, but it's not as light as I anticipated. I like the design. I think it's assembled very well. You can see how the bottom cover fits into the side panels very nicely. And the connectivity is fantastic. We have our power adapter, which is not USB type C, which I really like because then it doesn't steal away from one of your USB C ports. A USB type A, HDMI, USB C, and a headphone jack. On the other side, we have an SD card reader. USB type A, manual cutoff switch for the webcam and your power button. So good connectivity, not great with only one USB-C, but it is still very good. Now, before we go ahead and jump into the benchmarks, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of Lenovo Slim Pro 9i, I'll put links in the description below. If you do click those and make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, from a performance standpoint, this laptop is something else, both in single core and multi-core from Geekbench. This laptop is in the top range of the charts. This is an i9 13905H with an RTX 4050. Moving on to Cinebench R23 in both single core and multi-core. Once again, it's near the top end of the charts. So it's really great to see a laptop so thin with a great trackpad, nice keyboard, bright screen, a truly creator focused laptop with a touch screen have such great performance. Now moving on to Photoshop, you can see it scored an 891. This did surprise me with 32 gigs of RAM and i9 processor. I really thought we'd see better performance out of this laptop. 
But nonetheless, that's the score I was able to accomplish. And then going into After Effects, same thing with a lower score. It scored a 749 in After Effects. Now this was not all doom and gloom for this laptop because as we moved on to Blender, even with the RTX 4050, we still saw a score of 739. And for a comparable RTX 4050 equipped laptop, the Acer Swift X from 2023 with the i7-13700H, it scored a 589. So it really makes the most of this RTX 4050 GPU. Moving on to Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. The scores that I'm seeing for this laptop were a fantastic laptop about two years ago. That RTX 4050 is just not enough punch in order to really throw some great scores onto the board for 3D modeling. Now, this is a $2,200-ish laptop, depending on when you're watching this video. Again, if you wanna check the live pricing, check the links in the description below. This would not be my recommendation for 3D modeling or Blender, but so far for Photoshop and we're looking towards video editing, this laptop really surprised me. Taking a look at the video editing benchmarks, you can see we we're able to play back 6K B-RAW with 309 drop frames out of the 16,177 in the project and for red footage, 997. That is no slouchy laptop. That is really, really good. Now going ahead and checking out the export time, this laptop matched up with the Legion Slim 7i, which has an i9-13900H and an RTX 4070 in regards to the export time. So this laptop is no slouch in regards to 6K video editing even comparable to a Legion series laptop. Now taking a look at the 4K export, you can see we had a two minute and 53 second export, very respectable for this laptop. And then in DaVinci Resolve, five minutes and 29 seconds. Once again, a respectable score inside of a video editing software. So I think the real surprise for me in these benchmarks was that lower Photoshop score. And without being able to upgrade the RAM, those are the results you can anticipate with this laptop. Should you buy the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i? I think from a feature standpoint, it really packs a punch. You got a nice large trackpad, a bright, color accurate, sharp screen. You got a nice full size keyboard with a numpad on the right side. You have great build quality. It's a little on the heavy side, but it's a thin laptop, it's aluminum chassis, it's sturdy, it's got a lot to offer. And the performance, because of that 4050, I wish it was a 4070, does not pack as much of a punch as I would hope. But overall, you've got a well-built laptop with really good performance. Links in the description if you are ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you here in the next one.